hello hello so I talk a lot in these videos about me and my ADHD right I even when I talk it to myself throughout the day I remind myself that I have ADHD <laughs> I have to <laughs> but I want to chat about the fact that sometimes people that have ADHD decide that they're not going to share with the whole world that they have ADHD or they're going to just continue to see themselves as the way they are. They don't want to lose their identity just because they now have ADHD. Um, I just want to chat about the fact that the reason why I am so comfortable about seeing myself as me with my ADHD um, and and why I can just talk about it freely like this. I think that early on in my journey when I first found out I had ADHD and then looked back at the course of my en entire life and realized that many, 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 many parts of my life were influenced by my ADHD. I, I hit a wall of sadness and disappointment and lostness and I guess, um, what's, what's, I forget the word. It's kind of like when you feel like you're just, you know, I felt bereft even. Like it was just this, this, this very sad set of emotions that I was feeling because I thought to myself, then who am I? Because if I'm just my ADHD, then I'm just a shell of nothing. Anyhow, thankfully I got through that and I've come over to the other side because now I can confidently think to myself, well, yes, a lot of me is my ADHD in action and I think, well, you know what, that's okay because that is who I am. That's the brain that I got given. And, um, and, um, and I've come to appreciate that just because my ADHD essentially makes me who I am, it doesn't mean that I am less unique at all i'm still me i'm still um the unique creative um kind cheerful um childlike kind of person that i am um i yeah i i i now appreciate it for 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 what it is I am not medicated. I choose not to medicate. Um, it's really not a decision I am ready to ponder on at all. Um, some people, a lot of people say that once they've, they've, they've started medicating, they view their life as before medicating and after medicating. Um, and because the difference can be so vast. I am not unprivy to how it could feel being medicated because I do have access to these like these natural pills actually. It's not medication. It's these natural pills that um, by hearsay are known to help people with ADHD. I have access to these pills. I have tried them. 
um, and and I can vouch that they really do help me at least and I um, I I am flabbergasted at the mental clarity that I feel when I take them and and I, I'm I just didn't even know that kind of clarity could exist um, and in saying that I still don't take those pills on the regular at all so um, it's choosing to medicate or not to medicate I think there's um, two different camps on that but I don't want to really share my opinions on that um, but the only reason why I'm mentioning this is because unmedicated me is who I choose to be um, I think though that I could be a little privileged in the sense that I do have a what I call an ADHD friendly life in that I don't have to run by a strict schedule I homeschool my child and I also work from home um, a few hours a week um, for um, our business so in that sense the only thing I really have to run around for and be on time for are my daughter's activities outside the home um, and I do all right with that it's not often that she runs late um, I think it's because I'm responsible for someone else being on time to their thing um, but me myself I kind of still run late for my things um, um, I have improved but yeah it, it will always be probably an issue where I think I have enough time to quickly pack my things just before I head out the door and actually I really don't by the time I get in the car I'm like oh, where's time gone um, and I'm always trying to remember to just be a step ahead and get all my stuff ready the night before but the brain just never switches the night before I might get a couple of things ready the night before and then the morning of that I have to leave the house and get to that place with all the things I suddenly realize that I did not actually pack all the things the night before there's always things that I forget um, but what I don't what I'm saying is I don't have um, major um, consequence by um, from from my ADHD like it's not like I'm about to lose a job <laughs> like I really nearly did in my 20s um, or it's not like I'm about to um, yeah I can't think of anything else right now so anyways um, um, some people might be like well I don't want to lose sight of who I am so I don't really want to um, talk about my ADHD um, but I quite happily talk about it because I know perfectly well what what affects my ADHD and if I know what affects it then I can put things into place to improve certain things so one thing that like for example I'll give an example of something that I know totally is my ADHD and therefore I've been able to put something into place for it is you know a lot of us with ADHD forget to kind of do our washing on time and we might run out of clothes so <laughs> and then we might put the washing on and forget that we put it on and come back a few days later to do another lot of washing and realize that the washing we did a few days ago we kind of forgot to put on the line or to throw in the dryer so I have then been able to go you know what that happens to me not because I'm stupid or not because I'm dumb or silly or or just unable 
or incapable but it's simply because of my ADHD and that's okay therefore I will put something in into place to help me not forget to do my washing so one of the things that I have come up with is I've decided that when there's only X amount of socks in my drawer or X amount of undies or X amount of bras in my drawers, I that is the number one big clue to just get my basket of dirty laundry and take it down to the laundry straight away. I used to wait well I used to run out of things to wear right before I would then realize oh I've got to do my washing but I've given myself almost like a little a little warning you know a little alarm it works like a little alarm that says ding 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 you've got to do your washing today not like tomorrow or the day after today because today you have only three pairs of socks left or today you've only got three pairs of undies left or today you've only got three pairs of bras left right um you might go well mm, I, I might do two two or one or whatever you might decide to do your own thing with that but that's kind of like how i've been able to help myself um and then the other thing that i do when i'm doing my washing i'll put my a load of washing on and I know that it'll go for 45 minutes because I, I don't choose a long cycle like quite purposely because I will forget it if it's just too long. I'll choose 45 the 45 minute cycle, which is like a gentle cycle on my machine, whatever it is for you, just you can choose a, a, a short cycle and I do that on purpose. And then I think to myself, I've got 45 minutes to do xyz so it could be i'll go clean the kitchen or i'll go um tidy up my room or i'll go um i don't know i might use that time for journaling for example or i might just simply decide that i just want to sit down for 45 minutes and enjoy a delicious coffee and that's it um and that really works for me because it's a specific amount of time I know that I have 45 minutes I know that it's not going to go forever 45 minutes not that long um, and it gives me a specific block of time to just either to to be purposeful in um, I might even decide that I'll just scroll on my phone but see in 45 minutes time the washing machine is going to do its little beep thing and I'm going to be like, oh, time to finish scrolling. I get to hang my clothes now. Um, it's not perfect, okay? It's not perfect. I still do forget about my washing because maybe I don't hear the beep because I'm so zoned out with whatever I'm doing. Um, or maybe in like within 10 minutes of putting my washing on, I've completely forgotten that I put washing on and I leave the house and go to the shops or something like you know that does happen <laughs> and then I'll come back that night and go oh whoops I kind of forgot to hang my washing today and I'll hang it that night or I'll pop it in the dryer you know like that kind of thing does happen and you just gotta laugh you just gotta laugh but like as long as um I'm aware of my ADHD it actually helps me to continually put things into place as much as possible to help me in my life. So that's why I'm actually very passionate about mentioning my ADHD in the videos and um, as well as in daily conversations with people that I feel really comfortable with. I'll even have a laugh about my ADHD. Um, sometimes I think it makes people uncomfortable um, I can tell, um, so then I, I, I do try not to, I guess, be offensive about my ADHD, um, but, um, <laughs> but it just, it just really helps me to know exactly why, 
why I do certain things or why things aren't always perfect. You certainly won't find perfection um, here with me or in my home. And, um, and I've done such a lot of work, self-work, to get to a point of okayness with with me and even my chaotic home um that by now i'm i'm kind of loud and proud about it and um it 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 um like i said it continually helps me so i hope that you can get to a point too if you're at a point where you've just discovered your adhd and you're feeling all the i don't know those initial feelings of like almost betrayal like life's betrayed you because then 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 who are you even if you're at that point like just just be kind be kind to yourself and know that you will get through this and you will um in the not too distant future see the utmost beauty of who you are and and uniqueness and and joy that you bring to your loved ones and um and you will if you make friends with your ADHD, you will be able to use that to your advantage to help yourself in your life too. So, yeah. Okay. Bye.